1912, the German physicist Max von Laue published a groundbreaking work on X-ray diffraction. His work showed that X-rays were photons. Moreover, if you sent an X-ray beam through an aluminum foil at a photographic plate, then they created a concentric circle pattern on said plate. These discoveries won him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1914. Now, Max von Laue also openly opposed National Socialism. He often left his house carrying packages in his hand so he didn't have to do the salute. Such opposition led to his forced retirement in 1943. For safekeeping, von Laue sent his Nobel, made of 23 karat gold, to the Niels Bohr Institute in Copenhagen. But in doing so, he violated a law in Germany, putting him at risk for detention. So, when the Germans invaded Denmark in 1940, a chemist at the Niels Bohr Institute dissolved the gold in a mixture of nitric acid and hydrochloric acid called aqua regia, and left the resulting solution on a shelf. After the war ended, that chemist came back and reversed the process, precipitating the gold right back out of the solution. The Nobel Foundation then recast the medals for von Laue. If that's not wild enough, that chemist was Georg de Hivesi, who himself won the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1943 for his work in radioactive tracers and understanding animal metabolism. He also co-discovered hafnium, the oxide of which Intel later used in 2007 to create the high-K metal gate for their transistors. Now how about that?